All right, so here we are with this 1982 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is a BJ46, which is pretty cool. I'll explain why. It's a medium wheelbase, right? So it's the J4 series, which is kind of like the token classic Land Cruiser, but it's not the short wheelbase. It's not even the long wheelbase. It's the medium wheelbase with two doors. And these either had hard tops or soft tops originally, but these are not common. They only built these from 1981, if I'm not mistaken, and they stopped in 1984. And they only sold them to the Japanese market from new. So this was a JDM car only originally. It's just not every day that you see one of these. So this is kind of cool to be able to get a close look at one. Uh, the Land Cruiser, of course, has its origin story set in, uh, in post-war Japan. The U.S. Army, while occupying Japan, they put out a contract for Japanese auto manufacturers to create a light-duty military truck. Uh, something like a quarter ton, right? Something like the the Willis MB or the Ford GPW from World War II. So Toyota created the Toyota BJ, which did not win the contract. Uh, it did end up winning some, some national contracts with the uh, Japanese police forces and, and so on. But that is where the Land Cruiser began. And the J actually stands for Jeep. So all Land Cruisers in the years since, FJ, BJ, whatever, the J stands for Jeep, which is kind of funny. It just became to be a generic description for a light duty military truck. So this specific truck has been recently restored. It's painted in a beautiful metallic blue. Uh, the 3B diesel inline four, I forgot to mention this is a diesel. Uh, it has been uh, overhauled and rebuilt. Almost everything on the car has either been rebuilt, replaced, or refurbished. Uh, front axles, rear axles, steering system, everything. It does have uh, locking mechanical hubs up front, which are unlocked right now. That's something that you really never want to lock those unless you're going in a four-wheel drive. Or not necessary, especially on a beautiful day like today. So I'm going to show you. You know what I'll do, actually? I'll roll up the tops in the back. Super easy to do. And it totally changes the driving experience. It just makes it that much more fun especially on a beautiful day like today. So these are just, they have these little push tabs and then Velcro. And let's do this real quick. This is a lot easier with two people, but with one by yourself, I like to just start on one side. Work your way up about halfway and then come over here and play a little bit of catch up. And then that helps. have these little straps right here which just velcro to the top nice and simple and just like that there you go the rear is the same thing except there's no tabs it just comes right out with the velcro it's actually fairly waterproof uh, I didn't mention there's a little little weighted rod right here that hangs on the inside and keeps the soft top over this crease on the split rear door. So unless you're in a monsoon, it's actually, uh, you're not really going to have any puddles form on the inside. It's not foolproof, of course, it is a soft top, but driving around in the rain, not a big deal. All right, and as I mentioned in the back, you do have this split rear tailgate right here. You have a swivel mount for uh, the, uh, oops, rear tire. It's very easy to disconnect. Just make sure you do that before trying to open this. They are separate. And then you have these fold down jump seats right here. It's just one Velcro strap. And there are, there is one lap belt. So uh, either two passengers or for kids, you could squeeze four back here if you're going to the beach or something. Close this back up. All right, now hopping on inside, you have a four speed manual transmission, dual range transfer case, and uh, we have a heater right here, fresh air vents, obviously two wipers, and uh, I think without further ado, let's just get on the road. The key right here, a little push button to release the key. That's the fan going right now. Now I did warm her up a little bit. Of course, normally like any diesel, 
is your glow plug indicator. Just wait for that light to go out. Like I said, it's already decently warmed up, so that just went right out. You have these fresh air windows right here. Little cigarette windows, as I always used to call them. Roll up front windows. Manual door locks on both sides. That's pretty much it. You also, it's kind of unique. There are these fresh air vents. I don't know why you can see that on both sides. That really just, that just let some fresh air in to your legs while you're driving along in case you have sweaty feet. I don't know. So without further ado, let's go for a little drive. I'm gonna turn the fan back on. It's actually, it makes a huge difference to fresh air. First is very, very short. It's really just like a crawler gear. So you're gonna be driving around in second and third most of the time on roads like these. Alignment is bang on right now. These New York roads are a little topsy-turvy, but I mean, that's pretty awesome. Cross all, show the horn. This is a phenomenal driver. There's no wobbles or anything. We're going about 70 kilometers an hour right now. Nothing. Let's see if we can make this green arrow. Very nice. So easy to drive. It just it feels fantastic. You know, and if you've driven you know, like a Land Rover or an old Bronco, K5 maybe, you know, some like a really big body on frame old school truck, which by the way, that's not what this is. This is supposed to be like a lighter duty truck. But it, but the, the comparison still is uh, it's a whole nother you know, those really do feel like a, a refrigerator on wheels. This is not the case. It feels like a like a CJ5 that is just way smoother. And obviously there's all sorts of rattles and everything, but that's just, that comes with the territory. But there's no like creaks. There's no like weird shaky metallic noises. <laughs> it's very solid. Figure we'll turn around in here.
yeah that's that is really cool so there you go if you have any questions please do not hesitate at all uh, just ask ask ahead in the comments you can always uh, contact us directly as well at the contact seller button uh, i will always respond and usually just a few hours we try so anything else anything else you want to see let us know hope you enjoyed that in the meantime and thanks for watching good luck everybody